YouTubers. I'm outside. I'm in the darkness. And the reason I'm in this darkness is so you can experience spookiness. And to give this particular video atmosphere, which is a bit silly really, um, pitch darkness indeed. Now, why go hunting for ghosts in pitch darkness? Apparently, you know, you're more likely to see one. Um, are you? You really like you're more likely to see something in pitch darkness. Um, I'm spinning around now. You might see the light of the house in the background. There you go. Ooh, look. Oh, that's quite not. It's quite spooky, isn't it? Um, but the funny thing is. I do not believe in ghosts, and I find absolutely nothing spooky about hanging around in darkness. Is that just me? Um, I can see why people are fear of darkness. For instance, I could be at the moment treading in dog muck, because uh, I can't actually see it. And there is a strong chance I already have done. Um, anyway, let's go indoors and uh, discuss it, because uh, out here, um, it's like a minefield. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Um, actually, I thought, stuff going indoors. I'll do it tomorrow when I'm down by the river um, in Buckinghamshire, the River Ouse. And I uh, thought it would be a good opportunity to, uh, to do a ghost sort of talk. Now, years ago, it used to be quite difficult to uh, make ghost videos. You couldn't sort of superimpose as you can digitally now. And same with, same with pictures, photographs. Um, I used to do a lot of pictures with slides and uh, or positives if you like on the old film now uh, I'm going to put one up that uh, I did with it was a group of us we had I used to be in a camera club and we used to go to uh, various locations and take pictures and uh, the one you I'm probably showing you now um, is uh, a picture of a church and uh, in order to get something different I decided to be a bit clever and uh, put a ghost in mine now uh, so you can probably see uh, where we put the ghost by the altar. Now this picture was done uh, without any real trickery um, because it had to be done in one take and it was quite easy to do. What you basically do is uh, put some very slow film in and uh, open up the or uh, make a very small aperture uh, on your camera and take a picture over a once uh, it was about uh, a one minute exposure and during this time, uh, for the last 30 seconds, I got someone to run in and uh, kneel at the altar and stay still for the last sort of 30 seconds. Um, you couldn't see him running in because it wouldn't show up uh, because he did it fast. Easily done. And yet, pictures like this do appear. Um, my dog's just gone in the water. However, <laughs> uh, pictures do appear. Um, of ghosts at windows and you can see through them and things like this. And they're very easily done. So they're actual nonsense. And of course, uh, the videos today are, uh, if you look on YouTube, a lot of their videos are absolute nonsense. Um, there's no real proof of ghosts on video. Anyway, I'm going to carry on a bit because uh, I'm in a strange... The room that I'm currently standing in is about 300 years old. The floorboards creak, uh, as you probably hear just below me. And... Um, if you look at the doorway, for instance, which is, is behind me uh, now, if you look at sort of the doorway, you see how the door frame sort of bends. Um, I think you can probably see that. But just beyond that doorway, there is a staircase. And I was working in this old room with a colleague uh, one evening uh, after closing, and um, We'd locked the doors downstairs, so uh, there was nobody else in the building. And, as I say, an old building, about 300 years old, very creaky. And we're working in this room, and all of a sudden, we heard footsteps coming up that stairway. Now let's go to the stairway. Now, we rushed out, say so rushed out, we heard these footsteps um, and obviously thought somebody was coming upstairs 
it was so obviously somebody coming upstairs. The foot, there was none unmistakably there was a sound of footsteps. Complete and utter sound of feet going up and down these stairs. And you get that crunch of the feet and you get the complete noise of the foot. There's a, they're a bit creaky but it was unmistakable. Somebody was walking up the stairs. And yet when we looked, obviously there, uh, there was no one there. Spooky. That was the first thing that comes to mind. Spooky. In fact, uh, my colleague goes, Oh my God. Why is a sheet? What is it? You know. Did you hear it too? Of course I heard it too. It, it was obviously somebody coming up the stairs. Um, but I didn't suddenly go, Oh, it's a ghost. Uh, must be a ghost. I had no instant explanation for it. But uh, when, again, I went back to this staircase... Um, I started sort of tapping the walls and trying to figure out what had happened. It wasn't till some time later that I realised that behind this wall here, um, which makes up this part of the old staircase, there is in fact another staircase. And what I can only assume is that this stairs somehow... <laughs> are also the framework for these stairs is also used by the stairway next door now the, the stairway next door as i say it's not exactly next door there's, there's they sort of haven't got stairs there but um it's a sort of an access point which is rarely used and on this particular occasion being the evening of that someone had gone up that staircase and accessed it but um so despite this being an old building etc um it wasn't a ghost it was somebody next door which was somehow um, activating the noise on our stairs well at least we've got the uh, the sound of the crows in the in the background which is often the spooky effect and uh, well even though I'm not gonna put any spooky music with this and I have a friend who uh, I said you you know you're an atheist uh, do you believe in God and all that? And he says, uh, no, no, I don't believe in God. That's that's all nonsense. I think all that's nonsense. But I do believe in ghosts. Uh, so what exactly are ghosts supposed to be? Uh, some people think they're sort of in limbo on the way to heaven, in which case there's... Uh, uh, that doesn't really make sense either. And do we actually have any real evidence of them? If you look at things like 9-11 uh, when... Uh, or when the planes crashed into the two towers, uh, videos appeared everywhere. Um, Everybody seems to have a video camera on them, or some sort of phone or something, all these sort of... And even more so today, because of course that was 2001. Um, by now you would expect to have some really good footage of ghosts. Some seriously good footage of ghosts. Um, but no, I'm afraid there is no real good footage of ghosts. Um, a lot of the ones I've seen on YouTube seem to be faked, I'm afraid. And uh, it's uh, something which... I know this. Again, it's a belief system, and it's difficult to get out of it. But uh, once you stop believing in ghosts, it's surprising how uh, you no longer believe in ghosts. God, there's a gorgeous heron over there. It's just gone diving down. Oh, can I get a picture of that? And another thing. When they're on programmes like Most Haunted, they pretend to be some sort of uh, um, investigation unit. Investigation unit, yes. And they're supposed to be um, helping these ghosts out. Tell us what you want. We can help you. We can help you. And then they say, oh, that was a noise. Make another noise. Make another noise. Now, can you do that again? Can you make another noise? Oh, that was nice. Make another noise. Oh, what was that? What was that? You're throwing something. Oh, dear. There's some noise. And it goes on like that. No sort of real, well, who are you? What do you want? Etc. And if they do ask that question on a rare occasion, it's usually leave immediately on a Luigi board or something. Absolute garbage. Um, and... But it's very believable garbage. It's always very believable garbage, but even that. Um, I've watched several and thought, God, I can understand people, you know, really believing in this. In the same way that when I look at TV evangelists um, doing their sort of miracle cure bits, I can actually see people believing that rubbish. Um, but it's all a stage show, it's all a trick. And if anybody wants to challenge me to it, fine, I'll come and investigate it for you. Um, if I've got time, and I can make it. But, uh, anyway, that's enough for now, because my arm's getting tired, and so am I. <laughs>
Peace.